Hello and welcome to season three of the Hope and Heart Show. My name is Deshaun Williams and I'm your host. Today I wanted to bring you a new style for the Hope and Heart Show. So the Hope and Heart Show, you know, we all know that it's been nothing but a podcast only. Audio podcast. Well, today we have decided to go ahead and launch the video version of it. So not only can you get it in audio now, but you can also get it on YouTube. And we are so happy to announce it because that means that we are growing and we are going to reach more people. But let's also talk about all the amazing guests that we had in season one and season two. And, you know, we have Miss Denise Barr. We had different. We had uh, Daniel Umstead. Uh, we had Maurice F. Martin. We had a lot of amazing guests. We had Mr. Kia Nicole on the show. And, you know, we talked about mental health, and then we also talked about uh, personal journeys. And one personal journey that actually took off and did the greatest is Miss Paige Frasson. You know, and I absolutely love everything that she is doing, everything that she has overcame, and everything that she will be doing uh, going forward. But we're not going to dread on the past for too long because now, since we are in season three, we have some amazing guests that's going to be coming up. But also, with the amazing guests coming up, we're going to have a lot of solo episodes as well. So, this is the first solo episode. And what we're going to be talking about today is a reset. As we already realized, the Hope and Heart Show has done a reset. Um, and it's amazing because, you know, we remember um, that there was that the Hope and Heart Show was under the name of Heart Strong. And the reason why we had to change that name was because we got hit with a cease and desist. Um, and that's perfectly fine. Um but ultimately, hope in hearts is what we're doing. We're bringing that hope to your heart so that you understand that you can make a difference in the world and that no matter what it is that you do, you can still do it. No matter what you've been through, you can still do it. No matter what you're going through, you can still do it. No matter what it is that you may be facing right now, your dreams is bigger than, what, than the storm that you are in right now. So when we talk about a reset, it is okay to start over. It is okay to refocus. And a lot of people feel like, oh, it's not okay to do this. Why? Why are you telling me that it's not okay for me to reset my life, to reset my vision, my goals, my purpose, to align with what it is that I want to do? Is it because what I have now envisioned? no longer serves you and honestly that may be the issue you know a lot of people feel like what we're doing going forward isn't going to benefit them it's not going to um it's not going to help them get what they want in life from us and that's something that we have to truly understand there's a lot of people out here who are just takers and they're not givers you have to be very careful of the takers and the non-givers because when people give they rather give more than they take but you take yourself take more than they give they they'll take in they'll take out 99 percent and they'll put in maybe that one percent maybe that one percent while the givers they will give 95 to 99 percent of the time and only expect one to five percent back so who are the givers in your life and who are the takers? When you start to realize this, you are able to sit down and you are able to say, hey, this person needs me no good. They need to go or they need to just, they just need to go outside the circle and be the person that's looking from the outside in. That's what, that's what needs to happen. Um, so that's the first reset. Reevaluate your friend circle. Who, who are your friends? Who who are your colleagues? Who uh, who are the people who have your back? And then who are the people who say they have your back, but they are never around when you need them the most? Uh, who say that they have your back? And who said that, that they'll be there for you 
but when you truly need them, they know where to be found. And when you call them up, they ain't got it right now. And every time they ain't got it right now, it's always a sob story. But when you got it, they expect it. Who are those people? And when you find out who those people are, you can actually separate those people from your lifestyle. Um, also, the second thing is you have to get your mindset right. So many people, they want to use, oh, well, this is the way I was born. This is this is the way I grew up. Baby, we don't care about none of that. Just because you was born in that way, just because you was taught that way, just because you grew up that way, don't mean that you have to stay that way. Because what ultimately is happening is you are using this as an excuse to say, oh, uh, because I was taught and grown up this way, that's the way it needs to be. No, let's 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 use this for an example. Uh, people growing up, and they still, you know, we still got racist people out here. 